Hello, this is Adam Watson at Watson EdTech, and in today's screencast video, we're going to be talking about Empower, specifically exploring the home page of Empower from the perspective of a student or a parent. And um, the home page and the way the interface works for Empower, uh, there may be a few slight differences in terms of how things work, but really, to be honest, it, it visually looks the same. So this screencast can be helpful from either perspective if you're curious about some of the big highlights of the home page of Empower. Empower is the learning management system that we use at the district level for Shelby County Public Schools. And with that said, we can talk firstly as far as well, what are we going to look at today. So we're going to talk about the time machine aspect of Empower, uh, what a progress report is and how to get to it, the personalized learning plan or the learning profile. We're going to talk about the class log the ability to uh, expand in a class to see some information and get to the playlist browser. And last but not least, uh, to talk about the evidences. And this is really the meat and potatoes part of Empower to be able to see uh, how different evidences were scored, which gives you some information of, of how you're doing and progressing through the standards of a particular class. So first off, we come to the home page itself. This is what it basically looks like as you log into Empower for Shelby County Public Schools. And you can see here in the interface that there's uh, several gray buttons, some of which we're going to highlight and talk about today. You can see here in the descending list is going to be all of the courses and classes uh, and groups that a student belongs to. Uh, and again, some of these other buttons and features we're going to highlight as we continue. First thing we're going to highlight and talk about is the time machine aspect of Empower that makes it very interesting and uh, somewhat unique in terms of learning management systems. There is an area right here uh, space where the date is. And the key is, is that by default, usually that date is today's date, which is probably what you want. You want to see today's date, which is going to reflect on a day's information, the courses that you're currently enrolled in, and so on. However, it's important to point out, especially if things look wonky, uh, that you can change this date. So if you change this date to a date in the past, it should reflect and reveal what you'd expect. For example, if I make the date a year uh, ago, then I would see the classes and courses that I were uh, that I was enrolled in in Empower at that point in time. So you can purposely, purposefully, I should say, uh, utilize that feature in order to go back in time to see previous and prior classes. Uh, again, last but not least, to highlight though is the fact that if you are not seeing what you don't, you know, what you think and expect you're going to should see here, make sure that it is today's dates so you're seeing current classes and so on. Next, we have the progress report. That button, print progress report, is available right here. The default of what that progress report is going to look like uh, is going to depend on the school and the grade level. The key here is, and this is a wonderful thing about Empower to highlight, is that although we do periodically create and share and mail out progress reports for how students are doing, that these progress reports, you could output them on demand anytime you like, as many times a day if you like, for that matter. So it creates a PDF that you can print out or possibly even save. Uh, and here's an example of one version of progress report. I will tell you that this is a, a thing that's evolved and changed over time. So again, this may not be the progress report that you currently see, and it will change a little bit depending on what grade level you might be looking at. So next, let's talk about the personalized learning plan, which is a button in Empower that they call the learning profile but you may hear our teachers and staff talk about the PLP, the Personalized Learning Plan. Once you access and hit uh, that button, you're going to get information that not only gives you some data such as how are you doing on our profile of the graduate standards, um, some academic profile information about how you're um, doing in some district state level test, um, like MAP and so on. Uh, it also gives an opportunity to do some editing of information and to really use it as a personalized learning plan. It's an opportunity to see your strengths and see the things that are your challenges, to make some goals. And that, especially in our school's advisory process, is a crucial document and it's a living document, something that's going ongoing. So again, from a student or parent perspective, a good place to go and look and to make those goals and see where things are as of right this moment, uh, along with notes and so on. We'll return back to our home page here. Now we're going to start drilling down at the class level. So in this particular course, for example, notice that there's a button that's called class log. First thing to point out here is that if there's notifications, that means since the last time you checked and the last time you hit this button, some information has happened in that particular class or course. Well, what might that look like? If you hit that button, you might see something like this, which is going to be a scrolling list of information. 
and that scrolling information will be comments that the teacher has made, uh, some new scores perhaps that have come in on a piece of evidence. So it's just a communication. Almost think of it like a feed, uh, a, a Facebook mini feedback wall of information again since the last time you hit the button. Another button aspect of from the home page is the expand button, which we're going to highlight first, and that's this plus button that's right here at the end in the particular course. So if we want to see some more information about this particular drawing course by hitting this button, you're going to see some information based on Empower activities, or quizzes that could be possibly have made by the teacher. Uh, it should be important, it's important to point out rather, that uh, depending on the teacher, depending on the course, um, some people may have a lot of activities and quizzes and, and Empower things. Other ones, not as much because they may do some offline or analog activities or may even use Empower along with another kind of learning management system or tool. That said, if there's Empower activities and quizzes and so on, by clicking that button, this information will expand out. I could hit the button again to make it shrink up again. And you can see some information about some next up activities, uh, the last item that you viewed. I want to go back, or excuse me, go down here though and point out that there's also a playlist browser button that once you expand it, that's the next thing that you're going to see. And that shows you any playlist, which is a very specific instructional item that Empower uh, t uh, teachers can create in Empower. If there are any playlists created by the teacher, then each of these, again, kind of expand, expand, expand. You can open up the style analysis playlist, for example, and that will expand into some more information. You can kind of drill down and jump into particular tasks that are part of that playlist in order to engage with the material and to do the work. Next up, going back to the home page, we're going to look at this gray button here. Uh, it usually has a number that has something out of something at or above a 3.0. This looks like a piece of information, and it is, but even more important than that, it actually functions as a button. If you click on that gray button, then you're going to get a list of all the prioritized standards for that particular class, which is crucial for determining how you are in the progress toward mastery of the standards that we have deemed the most important and prioritized for that particular course or class. So by clicking on that button, you're going to see a list of different standards. And in the green box is going to be the overall standard score currently for that specific standard in that class. So just to highlight and show you the important parts of that, let's just look at one specific standard and see how we can drill down with some more information. By clicking on this evidence button, it's going to expand out and you're going to see all the different evidences and their particular scores of evidences that have contributed to determine an overall standard score right here. In addition to that, Let's point out that uh, there are some buttons that give you some additional information. In this example, this button, which looks like a descending ramp, has a notification. It says three. Well, if you click on the button, it's highlighting the fact that these three particular evidences were scored less than something called the goal score. Your teacher can explain this in greater detail, but the long and short of it is, is that there was an expectation of a meeting um, in this particular evidence that you should meet it at a one, two, three, or four and that the score that was given for the student was less than that number. So it was below expectation, and so this is what that flag and that button is helping you understand and see. Next, there is another button, one that looks like a little clock here, again with a notification number, and that's indicating any evidences that were scored as missing with an M. In this particular example, this particular G21 practice was scored as an M. Ms mean it's missing, and again, your teacher can uh, communicate and explain to you what that means for you and your particular um, needs or if you're the parent what your student might have to do with that but it's uh, you know whether it needs to be made up specifically or we just need to have more examples in this particular standard for them to show and demonstrate mastery the M is a flag so again this button with the clock helps highlight any evidences that are considered missing I want to end by saying that if you go to our district website at shelby.kyschools.us, there is additional information that is geared to the audience of a parent, and you can reach that information by going to the district webpage, finding the Parents tab, and when you click on it, you're going to see a choice that says Empower Information for Parents. Lots of great information about the whys and what fors about our systems here, talking more about standards-based grading, which is an important part of uh, how we score evidences and do things that empower 
lots of great information and tools there for you to check out. So please do check that out on our district website. Thank you very much, very, very much for listening. And I hope that helps you learn some more things about Empower.